Hello lovely people! In today's video I'll be showing you how to get this Valentine's Day makeup look. I wanted it to be very wearable and suitable for let's say a first date or a date with somebody special and listen to me, just listen. It doesn't matter if you are in a relationship or if you are not, it doesn't matter if you are single or taken, that's not important. Go grab some makeup, glam yourself up, do it for yourself and feel good. I think that the number one rule with makeup is that you need to be doing it for yourself. Don't do it for the others. Do it for yourself so that you feel good. Anyways, I hope you guys like the look. I tried to keep everything very toned down, very wearable. And yeah, hope you like it. So without losing any time, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with this Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've already moisturized my skin, so I'm just gonna add some primer on top. Just to make my makeup look better. This primer is really moisturizing. I'm loving it for the winter. By the way, I got a new camera. I hope you see me better now. So for foundation today, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundations and I'm mixing the shade 170. I'm taking two pumps from 170 and one pump of 120. Mixing them on the back of my hand, ladies. And with the beauty blender, I'm applying this mixture all over my face. For concealer, I'm gonna use again Fenty Beauty. Um, this is their Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 170. I'm also bringing it on my eyelids. I'm gonna try to keep my brows a little bit more toned down today. Lately, I've been loving the more natural looking brows. And what I've been doing on my everyday basis is I've been just applying some brow gel, clear brow gel on them, just to put the hairs in place. And that's all, that's how I've been wearing my brows lately. So I'm gonna still take care of them, but I want like over, overly, overly defined them <laughs> okay so i'm taking a clear brow gel this is the 24 hours brow setter by benefit i'm gonna just brush the hairs so that they're nice and put together and this tinted brow gel by benefit it will cement my brows in place for the whole day they won't move they won't it, they will just stay in place for the whole day and if you don't have a tinted brow gel you can also take a clear spoolie and spray it with some hairspray and use it to you know brush your eyebrows so for the past month or so every time that i was going out and i was doing my makeup this is how i was wearing my eyebrows i'm not even kidding i've I've been just loving this look. However, for today's look, you can see that I have some gaps in this particular area here. Some hairs are missing. <laughs> They're not growing how I want them to grow. So I'm gonna take um, some of the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder and I'm gonna create the illusion of, you know, hairs in this area here so that my brows have a little bit of a better shape. I wanted today's eye look to be really easy to achieve, really simple and wearable. As you can tell, I've already started working on one eye, but I'm gonna show you how to do everything step by step on the other eye. Makeup Geek recently came up with their new eyeshadow palettes. They look like that and I am loving them. I love that they kind of changed up their style a little bit and they came up with a new with new eyeshadow palettes, new packagings. Everything is so much more different than what we're used to see from Makeup Geek and I'm loving that change. I think that they did a really good job. I like that they're trying out new stuff. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the colors in this palette just because I don't think that that warm colors look good on me. I think that they're gorgeous. I personally don't like wearing that warm colors, but this one, oh my God, this one is, is really nice. <laughs> I'm loving the colors. I love everything about it. Let's just actually get into the application part. I think that I have a hair on my lips. By the way, on my lips right now, I'm wearing, hold on, I'm wearing these um, Leno lips. 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've only used it for a couple of days, but it's good. So the first color that I'm gonna use is going to be Sweet Cream. I'm gonna take it on a big brush like this one. I'm taking that almost white color and I'm gonna place it in my crease. This is going to set the concealer that I applied on my eyelids and it's going to make the blending of the rest of the eyeshadows so much easier. Okay, next I'm taking the MAC 217 brush and I'm taking the shade called Rose. It's my favorite one. <laughs> and this is going right into my crease. Using small circular motions, just blending it in the crease. I'm hungry, you guys. I'm hungry. <laughs> I had cornflakes for breakfast. I feel like every time that I'm eating carbs, like a lot of carbs, I'm getting hungry like really easily. Like in a few hours, I'm hungry, like I'm starving. Having a lot of carbs, it's not a good idea. But I wanted to say that I don't even like cornflakes. I'm almost never eating cornflakes. I don't like it. But we were grocery shopping yesterday. I don't know, for some reason, I just decided that I wanted cornflakes. I got some, the packaging by the way it was really nice, I don't remember the brand but I got that box of cornflakes just because of the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I tried it today, didn't really like them to be honest with you. I'm talking about cornflakes, <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting out of topic all the time. Anyways, I'm taking this flat brush here and I'm gonna spray it with some makeup fixer by Ofra just to make it a little bit damp. You can also use just a regular tap water. And I'm gonna take some of the shade Champagne. It's that really nice rose gold shade. And I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid. On that MAC 217, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that rose color. And I'm gonna use it to diffuse the shimmery eyeshadow with the pink one in my crease so that you know they look nice and blended together and i'll also bring that rose color under my lower lashes connect it with the rest of the eyeshadows here I also add a winged eyeliner to this look and I'm gonna use this one here by Nabla it's their cereal liner shake it first I also added a pair of falsies just for some extra drama, but if you want to keep this look a little bit more everyday, a little bit more wearable, feel free to skip them. I'm wearing the House of Lashes in the style ethereal light they were in this packaging. I wanted to mention how sharp, hold on, let me find it. Here it is. How sharp and precise the tip of this Nabla eyeliner is. It's really precise. <laughs> you can do some really thin lines with it. Come on, focus now. Look, now I have autofocus. It's really easy. It's like a soft tip. It's very, very, very convenient. Like, okay, look how excited I got about it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup. I'm taking this Fenty Beauty. Oh no. Why am I like this? Tell me why. Somebody explain luckily i had this plastic thing from the packaging of the foses and grabbed a huge amount of that powder oh my god anyways this is the fenty beauty pro filter powder in the shade lavender so i'm gonna use that to set the areas where i'm going to apply my blush bronzer avoiding the highlighter area you know just on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead And a little bit under my eyes just to kind of set that concealer there. I don't want to bring a huge amount of powder under my eyes. I just... Uh, my skin is so dry. If I bring a lot of powder under my eyes... Yeah. Mm, no, it won't be good. I'm avoiding adding a lot of powder in the areas that are creasing on my face. Like, see here, this area here, 
it's not creasing but under my eyes in my smile lines these are areas that are creasing when i'm talking when i'm smiling so i'm avoiding a lot of powder in those areas okay i'm gonna continue using this shade here this is by makeup forever but i'm not really sure how it's called i'm gonna try to find what it is and link it down in the description box also bringing that on the top of my forehead and along my doll line for blush i'm mixing these two colors here this is the rose gold blush doll by jouet and the brush is by fenty beauty it's the 170 setting brush at this point i've used quite a lot of powders on my face and i want to kind of melt them into my skin so that the whole look will look more natural and my skin will look more like skin after all of those powders so i'm taking this um ofra makeup fixer the same one that i also used on my brush and i'm gonna spray it all over my face i find that this setting spray is great for dry skin let me get my highlighter this one is the natasha denona super glow this is very intense highlighter so you always want to make sure that you you're really light-handed with it i'll also bring it on my brow bone and a little bit in the inner corner right here whenever i feel like i've added too much highlighter or blush or bronzer i like taking my beauty blender not adding anything to it and going over the products that i feel like i overdid and this is going to tone them down hi hello <laughs> oh my god this is not how my hair is supposed to look okay this is way better hello i i'm about to destroy everything here i curled my hair i feel like a new girl i love how natural and how moisturized my lips look right now and i don't want to i don't want to change that i don't want to use any lipstick because this lano lips product it made them look so nice and soft and so i don't know i love how this thing made my lips look so i don't want to cover them up with lipstick today i'm gonna just line them with this lip pencil by nabla it's called attractive just to give them a little bit of a shape I'm gonna add a little bit of this balm it's like a very very thick balm and you honestly need the tiniest amount ever you can also use it overnight and in the morning your lips will be so soft to finish up this look i'm just going to coat my lower lashes with some mascara i don't want to make them look longer i just want to make them look darker so I don't want to use a lot of mascara for that. And this is our final look. I really hope you guys like it. I love how soft it is. Just really toned down. Mm. This is my second video with my new camera. The first one was an Instagram video. Like a short makeup tutorial. The ones that I'm doing on my Instagram. If you haven't seen them, go check out my Instagram. I really like those kind of videos though i like filming them i think that they're fun and yeah i wanted to say something and i forgot it nice hope you guys have a wonderful valentine's day however you decide to spend it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel you can go ahead and do it now and also don't forget to press the bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you're going to be notified whenever i post a new video links to my instagram facebook and twitter are going to be down in the description box and i want to thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye